Hey guys, this is Gabby from The Savvy Professor. In today's video, I will discuss the differences between APY and interest rates. Watch till the end to know the final verdict on how they compare, but first, let's start with the differences. So the main difference between them is the interest terms. Interest rate is the overall percentage of interest on your loan, investment or savings account. It's what you pay when borrowing money or earns when loaning your cash. On the other hand, annual percentage yield is the percentage of interest you earn and the rate at which it accumulates when you keep money in your savings account or certificate of deposit for a year. This means your interest will earn interest. Therefore, APY terms are favorable as they account for compound interest. Calculations and representations. Interest rates show your potential earnings without considering compounding. It's calculated using this formula. Interest equal principal into rate into time, where principal is your initial deposit, rate is the interest rate, and the time is the duration. For example, if you lend $20,000 at 2% interest, you earn $400 annually. $20,000 into 2 divided by 100 equals $400. On the other hand, annual percentage yield, APY, considers compounding. It's calculated as APY equal to 1 into R by N times N minus 1, where R is the yearly interest rate and N is the number of times interest is being compounded. For instance, with a $20,000 deposit and 2% APY, compounded monthly APY is equal to 1 plus 0 0.02 divided by 12 times 12 minus 1 equal to 0 0.020 or 2.02 percent so your total balance after a year would be twenty thousand four hundred four dollars therefore apy terms provide a proper presentation of your potential earnings but do they have any similarities yes both apy and interest rates are terms presenting your potential earnings or returns from a savings account investment or loan to sum up how do they compare APY or interest rates. I like interest rate terms since when opting for loans with lower rates, I end up paying lower interest throughout the lifespan of the loan. However, I like APY terms more because they provide higher interest rates and the compounding factor makes it possible for me to maximize my earnings. For these reasons, APY is the overall winner. Thanks for watching.